we are start uh, we are start uh, we see that the mechanism of muscle contraction before that uh, one, one point will be, must be remember the myosin head uh, there is a have two active sites one is goes to myosin head uh, we consisting of uh, like this uh, a myosin like this myosin filaments two filaments this is have a head myosin head will be the myosin head myosin heads there is have two heads will be there the two filaments are there myosin head is first one is goes to hmm means heavy meromyosin lmm is means goes to light meromyosin will be there 200 to 300 molecules are like this with there in the muscle fiber we consisting here this goes to h high heavy meromyosin light meromyosin or there is myosin myosin head consisting of a two active sites one is goes to actin binding site second one is goes to atp binding site now this we are going to discuss about uh, uh, function and uh, contraction muscle contraction how the mechanism will be involved here muscle contraction these entire the muscle contraction will be expl explained by the both the scientists is goes to huxley okay huxley huxley this phenomena is goes to huxley is explained by the the mechanism of muscle contraction first step of muscle contraction is goes to first uh, the myosin head like this where these are the myosin heads this is muscle myosin head it is goes to myosin filament okay myosin filament it received by the atp it is used by the atp molecules we converted to the adp adp or inorganic phosphate will be there here that when we received by the signals from the motor neuron then muscle get activated muscle get activated here to presence of calcium ions here presence of calcium ions will be there this calcium ions this is basically actin active site like this a consisting of a one two three we call it goes to tni it is goes to tnc it is goes to tnt this is a calcium sarcoplasmic reticulum sarcoplasmic reticulum is releases to the receive the signals from the motor neuron the calcium ions will be released these calcium ions go and bind with the tnc center tnc troponin myosin troponin center can be binded that's why the conformational changes will be appear is goes to troponin filament these are conformational changes just to out of the mass this now it is side the move, move to side there's the spaces is goes to active site is open that's why the atp is utilized atp the atp is divides to the adp inorganic phosphate this myotin myosin head this are conformational changes means this active site is open that goes to next step this uh, activated means activated myosin head so go and bind with the go and uh, bind with the uh, actin filament myosin head go and bind with the action active center of actin filament now we formation of a cross bridges will be formed now we formation of a cross bridges will be formed go and attach the cross bridges will be formed now we goes to here then we attach it to the troponin attach it to the active sites lays myosin head and go and do the attract attract means the contraction will be there now we are going to the skid over one filament is over to the skid over to another another filament that's why these stroke we called as power stroke these we called as power stroke will be there each each and every filament the formation of cross bridges after the cross bridges one filament skid over to another filament that's why we called as sliding filament theory by the scientists explained by the Huxley Hansen and Huxley the both are the scientists explained by the sliding filament theory to slide over slide over each and every five filament that's why the muscle is slide over to muscle fiber this much of muscle fiber is there to slide over this uh, myosin heads that in active filaments to attract attract that it is two z lines this comes to close means muscle fiber this much of length to come to low come to close will be there that we call as power stroke will be there 
after that the available of one more atp they can this myosin head this myosin head will be there to receive the atp thus myosin head is detaches from the detaches from the active sites again they ready to take one more power stroke means comes to the the first position first position is goes to this is the first position the active site of actin active site is closed overlap or masked by the troponin filaments or the troponin sites troponin proteins sarcoplasmic reticulum when we receive them we receive the signals from the neuromuscular junction from the motor neuron that's why the calcium ions to be releases the calcium ions releases by the sarcoplasmic reticulum of the muscle fiber this calcium is bind to the tnc center this conformational changes will be appear it is removed site this uh, active site is open this myosin head is ready to attach to the active site of actin now atp is released atp is is uh, activated by the myosin head uh, here the conformational changes will be appear to the myosin head the myosin active site also will be opens now the formation second stage goes to formation of cross bridges from the myosin to the actin utilization of atp the adp is released inorganic phosphate will release second step the formation of a cross bridges third one is goes to show the movement by the power stroke will be there like this that power stroke means two z lines to go two z lines is comes to closed two z lines to come to closed means slide over this is myosin head is actin will be there actin may attain the myosin is uh, filament is comes to close that's why the cross slide over one filament to another filament that's why we call it as sliding filament tail the cross bridges after that they receive the atp detaches from the myosin head from the active site of actin again we ready to take one more calcium ions to continue the this type of muscle contraction this is about mechanism of muscle contractions is explained by the hansen and huxley that's why we call it as huxley huxley and one more the name will be there is goes to sliding filament theory it is highly acceptable theory is goes to sliding filament theory of muscle contraction continuously it is showed by the muscle contraction what happens means inside the body they there is a have a accumulation of inside the muscle accumulation of lactic acid will be there lactic acid leads to the muscle fatigue means skeletal muscle is show the ratchet movement ratchet movement means the fastest movement will be uh, exposed uh, the performed by the uh, rapid movement this movement we call as ratchet movements and rapid movements and the very easy a little bit of time we show the lot of movements otherwise we can formation of a stop the such type of contraction will attain the uh, one stage that type stage we call as muscle fatigue accumulation of lactic acid means muscle is continuously received by the oxygen and finally uh, performing of the atp all these functions and simultaneous releases to the lactic acids the lactic acid through the circulatory system it is uh, goes to the uh, liver and the liver is goes to gluconeogenesis process will be occur after gluconeogenesis process finally formation of glucose the glucose again comes to muscle the cycle will be continues this cycle we called as curry cycle